Sunday, welcome back to the sewing room. I've had a lovely morning with the peeps on the live hangout. We have reorganised the background, so these are the collections, and um, it's just because the, the, the bag making stuff had gotten a little bit messy and we were just sitting and chatting about fabric as always. I was meant to be sewing, I did not get any sewing done. And uh, yeah, lots of reorganization has happened, which has been really, really fun. So I am just back down here. I've just had lunch, which was a delicious bacon and cheese salad. Very, very yummy. I'm going to watch the original Star Trek movie, the Star Trek, the motion picture. I'm going to try and get some of this sewn. So it's the 6891 in the chameleon, chameleon, elephant and chameleon cotton lawn from Lady McElroy. I've also, by the looks of things, cut out some bias binding, so I need to make that up. Although I do think I'm going to use a solid bias binding for this one. I also know I need to cut out the interfacing. Words are hard. Struggled with that earlier. Need to cut out the interfacing for this as well. But I think the first thing I'm going to get done is get the darts and bits and pieces sewn into the bodice and just go until I have to cut out the interfacing. So let's get started. Two hours later. Well I started with a piece that definitely doesn't need interfacing. I have a skirt with French seamed pockets and I am just about to sew on the bias binding to the hem. I am going to use a solid dark green bias binding with this one. I have cut out the, because um, I remember I had four and a, three and a half meters of this fabric no, I had four meters of this fabric, so I ended up with a small, oddly shaped piece left because I did have to cut these skirt panels out on the single layer of fabric. So I turned everything that I had left into bias binding, which I will use on something else, but I'm not gonna use on this one because I think it's gonna look really nice to have a solid bias binding on the inside. So the hems of these ones don't drop on the bias. I have found with the previous one, two, three of these that I've made. So I can put the bias binding on now, which I will do around the hem. Then baste the pockets into place on the top, on the waistline. And then I can put this to the side and get on with the sash and the bodice. I've marked out all of the dart placements, but I still, like I say, need to cut out the interfacing, which once the darts have been sewn is the next thing to do is to put the collar in. So it's gonna, it's going to come to interfacing soon. I think I'm actually just going to get the bias binding on this today and then call it a day. In fact, do you know what? I'm going to call it a day now because it's very hot down here. It is 30 degrees. I don't want to iron anymore and I'm going to have to iron with the bias binding over. So I'm going to call it a day for, for today. And hopefully the dog's not going to start screaming at the neighbours. I think I need to go and rescue her. Two sex. She wasn't barking at anyone in particular, she was just barking for the sake of it, for the joy for the joy of making noise. And then the cat started meowing and then just yeah, fun time. So yes, it's it's warm down here, it's six o'clock, I'm tired, I'm gonna call it a night and come back tomorrow and get this shirt dress finished. Then try and work out what I'm gonna do for videos this weekend. Possibly the border jumpsuit, but there's quite a lot of work in that I don't know if I've got time to get done before I go. We shall see. We shall see. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the tiny little bit of waffle I've done today. I had a really nice time at the hangout. Very much enjoyed reorganising all of this. Fabric fondling is always fun. <laughs> so if you want to check that out in more detail, you can do up here. It is four hours of me waffling about fabric and chatting and hanging with the peeps. So it's a long one you've been warned. Anyway, I'm gonna stop waffling at you now. So I will see you all tomorrow for some more shirt dress sewing. I'll see you then. Bye. Hey peeps, happy Tuesday. Welcome back to the sewing room. I ended up taking yesterday off, which was probably not the most intelligent thing to do time management wise, but it was definitely needed mental health wise. So feeling much perkier today, which is good. I've spent the morning out running errands and I am back down here in the sewing room to get on with the elephant and chameleon dress. I have got the skirt finished the other day it needs bias binding on the hem i have just cut out and interfaced my facings so i can also use put the bias binding onto those at the same time then it's just a case of making up the bodice attaching it to the skirt and buttonholes and buttons you know like you know, it's nothing that's totally doable today 
<laughs> and to be fair it probably is because I can get this dress done in a day if I am trying to sew it from start to finish you know like it's an eight hour so and I've done about half of it already I've also got a hair scrunchie to make up only one of those and then I've got a ton of bias binding which I may or may not get to today but it's not a priority because I want to use a solid bottle green or emerald green for this dress because I think that's going to look really really nice on the insides so I am going to get on and get some sewing done as I say bias binding first then bodice not bodice Darts, words are hard. Body starts, then I can start working on the collar, then the facing goes on, then the shoulder seams get sewn up, or the armholes get sewn up, then the side seams, then it gets put attached to the skirt, buttonholes and buttons. Yeah, totally doable. I think I've said that twice now. So I'm gonna stop procrastinating at you. I'm currently watching Perception, which I'm very much enjoying. I'm on the beginning of season three, and there's only three seasons of it, so that's a bit sad, but I am enjoying that. Watched Star Trek Strange New Worlds which was awesome. I also really enjoyed Halo and I don't, I've never played the game so I don't know what the storyline in the game is like but I really enjoyed the TV series so that was fun as well. So I have been binge watching TV doing kind of like ad mini stuff and things like that behind the scenes as well but yeah definitely yesterday was a mental health day. I think I've repeated myself twice over now so I'll just shut up and get on with some sewing. <laughs> I know I say this every time, but this really is my favourite part where you get to bag something out. It's just magic. So... And again, if you... There is a sew along for this one. If you guys want to see how I put this all together and actually line the bodice. Um, because the, that bodice lining isn't in the pattern. But it's my preferred way to finish the armholes because it gives... A nice clean finish with no top stitching on the outside. Not that there's anything wrong with top stitching and I do like it on certain shirt dresses as we've seen over the last couple of days with the Zimmerman one but for this one no top stitching so I need to go in press my armholes but they are done now I can sew up the side seams attach it to the skirt and then we can get on with buttonholes and buttons although I am going to have to make some bias binding because I'm about a meter short of this bias binding for the hem so I'm going to have this bright green on the facings obviously and then I will have the same same fabric for the hem which is not ideal but never mind it is what it is a few moments later 15 meters of bias binding out of the kind of 50 centimeters 60 centimeters that I had left cutting out of the dress so I'm going to get this on the hem I can then sew the facings down buttonholes buttons and hand hemming it it's currently eight o'clock I can definitely get this done this evening I wasn't plan on, planning on it being this late but never mind <laughs> never mind I um need to get this dress finished because I want to wear it this weekend and uh yeah, I haven't got anything else to do tonight, so might as well. I'm on episode eight of Perception, so nearly done, nearly done. I don't know what I'm gonna watch next, but uh, yes, hem time. Three hours later. It's 11 p.m., but the dress is completely finished and I love it. I mean, that's gonna come as a surprise to absolutely none of you. You know I like this pattern. I like Lady McElroy cotton lawns. This one is a gorgeous one. Let me just tip you down a little bit. So you can have a look. So yeah, uh, same as ever, I have done the longer skirt version, which on me is kind of mid-calf. And my preference, although I haven't made the shorter version, I have put pockets in it. The only difference with this one to my other three is I've only lined the bodice on this one. I haven't lined the skirt. The only reason I'd lined the skirts on the previous ones was because two of them it would have been sheer and then the third one I was doing a how to fully line your dress video. <laughs> so because this dress isn't technically meant to be lined. I have lined the bodice of this one with black cotton lawn and finished it in exactly the same way as I showed you with the sew along which is up here. Like I say the only difference is I haven't put a skirt lining in this one and that's a really easy kind of you know thing to do you just leave it out there's no difference for how the lining gets sewn at all the skirt lining gets sewn to the skirt wrong sides together and then treated as one piece and then the bodice lining is hand sewn down once you've got the skirt and the bodice attached which is again all in the sew along this fabric is absolutely gorgeous it's one of their new prints for this year it's the elephant and chameleon i can't find a chameleon on it there's a frog there's a monkey and a elephant um, 
but this little dude here whilst from afar looks like the chameleon this is the monkey so i'm gonna have to ask them when i see them at the show like is it named chameleon because the monkey's pretending to be a chameleon or is there actually a chameleon in here and i just can't see it but yeah the colors are gorgeous the, it looks like it's been painted there's brush strokes in it it's really really pretty they're doing it on the lawn and the viscose i don't know which weight of viscose i'll have to check i'll have put it on screen down here for you but it will be linked in the description down below because it is one of their new prints so it's widely available everywhere absolutely gorgeous i love the colorway i always think that this kind of colorway is actually quite summery with the green in it but then because of the navy you can make it much more autumn winter appropriate like i can totally see myself wearing this with one of my roll necks underneath of it over the knee boots and a little cardigan over the top i think it's going to work really well in the autumn winter as well as the summer months we all know how i feel about shirt dresses i think they are my favorites lots of people have been coming up with ideas for me for my make nine for next year one of them was to go working my way through some of my charm dirty patterns and I have a lot of those because I've been a patron of hers since the beginning I think there are about three or four of her main patterns that I don't have anymore but that's only not anymore that I don't have but that's only because they didn't come out on paper and I didn't want to order them on PDF although I'm not sure if she's going to go back to paper patterns because of the closing of one of the factories in the US that printed all of the paper patterns so I'm not sure what's going on there but yeah I, there's only a few Gertie patterns that I don't actually own so they would make a really good candidate for make nine but the other thing I'm thinking is maybe I should pick a, pick a shirt dress like a Vogue one, a McCall's one, a Gertie one because there's the scout dress you know and go through some of my because I've oh I've got um the penny dress from Colette there's the penny dress from Sew Over It there's the vintage Sew Over It dress there's loads of shirt dresses out there and I'm thinking maybe I should try that for my make nine next year I've been planning out content and trying to work out what videos that I'm going to be putting out over the next couple of months so that I can try and plan ahead for December because I want to do vlogmas again I've, I love vlogmas but I want to try and put out proper videos as well which I know is going to be a lot of work and I know is going to need a lot of pre-planning which is why I'm thinking so far ahead but yeah I'm thinking maybe maybe a shirt dress challenge might be a good one because I just I love making them and I love wearing them and this this one has been another success I am not ruling out coming back from the festival of quilts with some of this fabric on a viscose base I think this would be a lovely one to make a kind of wide collar pirate you know sleeved giant shirt from to be worn with suiting because it would go really well with navy green and also the kind of like um there's some mustardy flower yeah like the, the mustardy flowers in here would go really well with the brielle mustard suiting that i've got i've got so far i've only made the waistcoat but i've got enough to make trousers and a skirt as well so yeah i'm thinking maybe i should get some of this in viscose what do you think let me know in the comments down below you'll be seeing this on the day that i'm actually at the show because i'm going to put this out on thursday so there won't have been a daily-ish waffle on tuesday this week just because of the way that things have worked out so you'll be seeing this today which is thursday so the day that first day i'm at the show so this is the daily-ish waffle then i'm going to have been filming at the show so there'll be a festival of quilts vlog there will be a festival of quilts haul then i'm going to try and sit down and think about what to do for so yeah hang on so that's thursday friday saturday and then yeah so i'm going to try and think of an extra video for next week when i'm back but um i'm hoping to go and visit sherwoods i'm hoping because at the moment they're only allowing people to come on tuesdays and thursdays but we've got the monday so i'm going to ask if i can possibly visit on the monday even though if they're open for a start and then even though they're going to be recovering from the show like we are just because i don't know when i'm going to be up in that vicinity again and i really want to go and see sherwoods in person so maybe that could be a vlog as well we shall see anyway it is 11 o'clock so i'm going to go and sit with chi she's probably starving she's she's had food she you know but she's a cat so she can see the bottom of her food bowl by now i would imagine so she's thinking that i'm starving her and um it's gonna be the last night as well because obviously we leave tomorrow so dad's gonna be looking after her 
so that's gonna be interesting she'll be fine he'll be fine it's just really funny when she when um he walks into the room she always is she's kind of like hisses at him she's like nope 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 but we've worked out that when mum comes in chiana gets her favorite treat so we're going to be trying to do the same when dad walks in he's going to give her her treats to um, see if bribery and corruption can make her warm up to him a little bit <laughs> it'll be fine it'll be totally fine anyway that was a lot of waffle so i hope you've enjoyed the last couple of days i have very much enjoyed making this shirt dress it's one of those ones now where it's just like I know I'm going to love the outcome. I know it's going to be a success in this in in a in a in a cotton lawn. So very happy, very happy with how this has come out. Not sure how I'd feel about doing this in a viscose because of the collar. The collar is the, I mean, again. There's a song for this. The collar of this one. There's just lots of accuracy that's needed, which with a cotton lawn that behaves itself nicely is easy to achieve. With something a little bit more slippery, it might not be quite so much fun. It would be doable, but it wouldn't probably be as much fun. But we should, yeah, maybe, maybe in the future, maybe I will make a viscose one. But when they come out this nice and cotton lawn, maybe not. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to stop waffling at you. I'm going to go up to the bedroom, chat with Chi, watch the last couple of episodes of Perception, and uh, go to bed ready to get up early to pack tomorrow morning. So yes, I hope you've enjoyed the last couple of days, and I will see you all at the Festival of Quilts. Bye.